Esty, what is a trad wife? Well, a trad wife is just short for traditional wife, and it is a homemaker, and she cooks, she cleans, she takes care of the home and the children, if there are any, and the online world gave it the term trad wife for short. What motivated you to pursue this traditional life? Well, I was somewhat raised traditional. My mom was a traditional wife until my parents got divorced. I think I felt the need to fit the mold of the world and go get a degree, find a career. And I did go to college for almost two years. And then I dropped out because secretly I always wanted this lifestyle. Of course, you need a husband to have this lifestyle. So when I met my now husband, um, everything just came into place. And that's really the inspiration behind it. It's just, it was a dream. The thing about modern women is that these women need you to like them for them, but they will like a guy for what he has. They could never deal with their type of love if they were to swap their reality for men's reality. They would not like it and would demand to have back their shallow existence. So, it's quite a shocker when you see feminists getting triggered about women being traditional wives. If you look around society, you will see many extremes. On one side, you will find your regular Karens, feminists, who are strong, independent boss babes who don't need any man. Women leave, women divorce men 70 to 80 percent of the time. I, I would argue in relationships it's probably similar. Men aren't leaving, women are. So to a guy's point of view, he's going to commit to this girl. And what does he get? He doesn't get purity anymore, you know, these, these hoes. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't get youth anymore, so he doesn't get either of those things. A lot of times she already has a kid, so, so he, he's not fulfilling his mating strategy. On top of that, even if he does find a good woman that maybe has the qualities he's looking for, he, she was gonna want him to marry her, right? And what does he get out of that? Oh, she can leave and take half and take my kids. Okay. And she's paid to take my kids away from me. She, she gets more money if she takes my children. Mm -hmm. And so from the men's point of view, they're just kind of like, F it, because like women aren't wives nowadays. I feel sorry for those people who are so isolated in life that they would fetishize a home-cooked meal and a clean house. The idea that someone cares about you enough to cook and clean, or to bring home a paycheck and share it with you out of love, is so foreign to them that they can't believe it exists. I think the fact they are so outraged by a woman just enjoying her life as a trad wife upsets them is quite telling. They are unhappy with their own life choices and are outraged when anyone else finds a dose of happiness. Misery loves company. Women who lie to themselves and everyone else will stay alone and try to make everyone else as miserable as they are unless they can change the trend of their lives by the realization that they might be wrong. Women can choose to be less stressed and focus on being housewives who are involved in building the next generation or can be creative on how to build the home, or she has to hit their targets at work and work for the rest of their lives till they die. It's what men are doing. Why take away that decision and shame them? Meet Nara Smith, a captivating presence on TikTok, known for her elaborate cooking videos showcasing homemade meals for her family, including her husband, model Lucky Blue Smith, and their two children. Married since February 2020, Nara, at just 22 years old, has embraced motherhood wholeheartedly sharing her journey openly on social media. Born in South Africa and raised in Germany, Nara's multilingual background adds depth to her content, which has garnered her a following of millions. Despite originally aspiring to be a marine biologist, Nara's path shifted towards cooking and social media, where she found her niche. She is famous for making food from scratch, such as homemade cereal and bagels, has earned her widespread admiration, despite facing occasional backlash. On the other side, you will find women who wholeheartedly believe in being traditional, which means they believe in family values, taking care of the house and the kids, and living a contented life without having to worry about receiving money from strangers online. My favorite anti-trad wife article from this latest batch comes to us courtesy of Vogue and a woman named Monica Ainley. She decided to become a trad wife herself for a week in order to discover the true depths of its horrors. They just eat and poop and they cry. Now she keeps a daily journal documenting her struggles. Uh, on day one, on Monday, we're told that uh, she tries to do laundry, but her kids keep unfolding the laundry that she folded. On Tuesday, she makes dinner for her husband, but is so exhausted by the routine uh, that she, uh, she says that she's uh, not in the mood for intimacy that evening because she's so, you know, making dinner very exhausting. On Wednesday, she tries to make a TikTok video, but her kids keep interrupting. And at dinner, uh, three days into this, she says that she feels dead inside. Her world has become tiny. 
By Thursday, she says that she's uh, drowning her sorrows with Pinot Grigio. I love peanut butter. You can't truly experience that life if you live it for five days, and all for the express purpose of writing an article about it. Thank you, Matt. Well, these modern women are not trad wives because everything they talk about in marriage is about themselves and what they want. Nothing about a stable family or a male structure in the house. Crazy how every time they're asked if they'd be with an average man, they all say no. I happen to work with a lot of average men who are construction workers. As someone who's at a higher rank on site as an architect and a young black woman, they always expect ill completely disregard them or give them an attitude. And when I do the opposite by smiling at them and greeting them and showing basic human kindness, it leaves them in complete disbelief. Average men have been shot down so many times it is quite heartbreaking to witness. So at least get a girl that listens to you because trust me, you will grow to love her more than the fatty that annoys the fuck out of you and doesn't give you peace, bro. I'm telling y'all, man. And nines and tens, not wife material, ever. Those girls are for the streets, man. They belong to everybody. Like, you need to find yourself a girl in the six, seven, maybe eight range at most. Like, nines and tens, these supermodel chicks, they're not wifeable material, bro. They're just not. Trust me. You're going to be competing for her attention with 99 other people because she loves attention. She loves to be on Instagram. She loves to be exploring her options, etc. Like super, super beautiful women. Like they're used to getting that attention. And if they lose it, they start going crazy. Look at Britney Spears right now. Every woman I meet nowadays says the same stuff. They are models and entrepreneurs who own their own businesses. Years ago, it was a simpler life to entertain women. BC, the internet made everything so much more competitive. Everyone is just showing off their material things, and that's all that seems to matter to the modern woman. That's why the wife mentality went out the window, and the I'm your bad bish mentality is here to stay. It's so weird. Women who don't want to be wives will also wonder why they aren't married yet. Serving the father of your children the main breadwinner, and your children is worse than serving your boss who can and will replace you mercilessly, or your sugar daddy who can also and will replace you mercilessly. Yeah, so I would offer that in a very productive marriage there is no i i versus it's just we like i am in a partnership a team me and my husband i the concept of putting me first like even saying that just sounds so crazy to me in a marriage like i don't i've never thought it once it's just it's us it's the kids it's our family mm -hmm. like i becomes we and so i would just say like maybe when you when you put that out there to a guy like I, 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 then they say, okay, maybe this isn't marriage material because she's telling me that even if I give her everything and I have the potential then the risk of losing everything that she still would not make any sacrifices uh, in, you know, in her life. And I, I can agree with what you're saying. I can agree with your statements. But what I'm saying is I haven't came across a traditional man like that as okay. of now. So I'm going to focus on myself. No, that's fine. I just, wanted to, I just wanted to highlight that it, it's a specific kind of man that you're talking about yes. if a guy doesn't want to get married. But also fair if you are saying the same thing. Women who left their jobs to get married and have children have been rebuffing critics who call them oppressed. The so-called trad wives say they love it and they like to do everything for their partners and caring for a husband, children and home is their calling. The critics say it's crazy and only going to benefit the man in the long run. Today, we are in an age where a young woman gets cheered and supported for being an only fan worker and attacked for wanting to be a stay-at-home wife. Imagine that in the entire history of humanity, women have never been more free and more independent as today and yet they are the most salty and bitter individuals they have ever been. I love serving my family. While that makes many cringe, serve is not a bad word. Everyone serves something or someone. Modernity is so hyper-focused on the self that in saying these things, you are often equated to being a doormat or a slave. The mindset of, if it doesn't serve you, it has no room in your life, is quite prevalent. As Christian women, we should be rejecting this mindset. It is not beneath a woman to joyfully and willingly serve her family. If I'm to be considered a slave, let it be a slave to Christ and the high calling that he has for women. This can't be a coincidence. Modern women today love seeing themselves as these strong and independent women, but can't stand traditional wives and resort to calling them out as if they were being forced to be traditional. It's not like these strong, independent boss babes are happy with their lives. They're miserable. Sure, they make money and have a career, but they lack the one thing that truly creates purpose in life having a family. It all comes down to their inability to ever be happy, content, satisfied, or grateful. Take one to a restaurant. They can't make simple food choices off a menu, let alone major life choices like deciding to be a traditional mom or career woman. No matter what they order at the restaurant, they like what you have better. So of course they see that women who choose differently, they are truly insufferable creatures. 
Traditional wives come from traditional households, where they are raised to be wives and mothers, where you have both parents and a healthy relationship with their fathers. It's not a trend you can throw on like new makeup, whether you are or you aren't. The real traditional wives are too busy to make TikTok videos. Traditional wives don't need the constant attention of strange men online from all over the world to make them feel validated over social media. This is because traditional wives get that validation from their husbands and their children, and it goes both ways. Men have to learn their wives need money to run the family, food, clothing, and other household needs for everyone. Guys, as I've said before, we need to remodel society because the dynamics in place at this point in time aren't working. We need to go with our own natures and be happy with who we are. The men being the breadwinners who respect and love their wives for keeping the children happy, and the wives for being a partner for life, and someone that the man can depend on for intimacy, traveling, adventure, food, and raising a family. It can't work where the roles are reversed from a biological and physiological standpoint. We're just not built that way. You can't expect women to win wars, fight bears and kill. You can't expect men to reproduce naturally. Nature made men and women differently for different purposes. You can't deny that. The feminist disdain comes from the thought of inevitably having to compete with these women and the value they bring to a relationship or marriage if the traditional wife trend catches on. I've come to the conclusion that this whole traditional wife controversy is only an American problem. So basically it's a cultural issue because I don't see people of other cultures arguing that being a traditional wife is bad. In fact, it's still a normal thing that the rest of us don't even need to think about. From a psychological perspective, anyone who has a problem with traditional wives should reflect on how much or how little their mother was a part of their life growing up and then see how that affected them in their current state. Was it a good outcome or a bad outcome to have more or less guidance and love? What did their lives and thoughts develop into? It's the same argument for dads in the home. Having good, strong, traditional, well-rounded, attentive, and loving parents is the key to the first step of leading a successful life. This is part of what happens in the age of social media, where over half the world's population is online on all kinds of devices and platforms, all voicing their individual opinions on every single topic. Billions of opinions and variations of all those opinions. The comments are so crazy. It's just crazy. Thanks for watching The Circle of Kings. As always, we're looking forward to your support. So please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with everything all kings like yourself need to know.